moving that around, in smelting it down, in moving it uh, into other property, in laundering the proceeds, and the Adamses were linked to that. Tommy Adams is observed handling gold bullion under police surveillance. But he claims he didn't realise it was from the Brinks Mac robbery, and he's acquitted. I think that still rankles with a lot of the officers involved in that Brinks Mac investigation. That should have been the, the first time that one of the Adamses was convicted of something really substantial. Millions of the now legendary profits from the Brinks Mac gold are never recovered. And by a strange coincidence, the Adams brothers find themselves flush with money. They've been going to the most expensive boutiques, wearing the best suits. Terry in particular seemed to have a bit of a penchant for fairly flamboyant, very smart dressing. Someone once described him as the cross between Liberace and Peter Stringfellow. He had a yacht, he had luxury cars, he had a house that he spent millions of pounds on. I think his garden alone cost some 70 odd thousand pounds to remodel and the house was worth more than a million pounds. And that quite often is the sign that, hang on a minute, they've come into a few bob here, where might that have come from?